Now moving on to SM1 reactions. The main differences between SN2 and SN1 is that SN1 reacts with weak nucleophiles, while SN2 prefers strong nucleophiles. Also, looking at the SN1 mechanism, there are two, but really three main steps. Carbocation formation via loss of a leaving group, nucleophilic attack as we form the carbocation, and an acid base step if we need to get rid of a hydrogen. The reason there's a 1 in the name of the reaction has to do with the rate law. It will be a first order rate law as the reaction depends on the stability of the carbocation that's formed. The more stable the carbocation, the faster the reaction. This is why we prefer tertiary substrates over primary ones, because a tertiary carbocation is more stable than a primary carbocation. Just like in SN2, the reaction prefers to have a specific solvent, but for SN1, we prefer polar protic solvents, which means we have a proton on our solvent. Another thing to note is the stereochemistry that results from the reaction. In SN2, we had inversion of our configuration, but in SN1, we have both inversion and retention of configuration. This will give us a racemic mixture, meaning we had 50% inversion and 50% retention. Remember, retention means keeping the configuration the same. This occurs as our p-orbital from the carbocation can be attacked from the top face or the bottom face. 